The next type of program I'm going to create is a key group program. Remember I told you in an earlier video that a key group program is a program that allows you to assign one or more samples to one or more keys and then play them chromatically across a MIDI keyboard or with the pads of your MPC touch. I'm going to go to the next track, which is track 7, and it's unused. And I'm going to touch this little symbol on the screen that looks like a little keyboard. Now that that's selected, I can create a key group program on track 7 to use as part of my production. Now on track 7, I have an empty key group program called Program 001, and I'll rename that later. But right now, I want to add some samples to this key group program. And on my desktop, I have a folder with a couple of bass samples in it that have already been tuned to the note of C0 and C1. And I want to import them into this key group program. So I'm going to go to my browser in order to import those samples into the sample pool. And I'm going to double touch up here at the top. And I'm going to select my desktop from here. And on my desktop, I have a folder called Boom in Key. And I'm going to double touch that, and I have the filter set to all, and there are only two samples in that folder. I have long boom C0 and long boom C1. So I'm just going to go ahead and add these to my sample pool. I'm going to double touch this one, load it, and I'm going to double touch this one. And now I'm going to go back to my main screen. So in order to get these samples into my key group for use, I'm going to need to go into program edit mode. So I'm going to touch this house to get me to my main menu, and then I'm going to touch Program Edit. When entering Program Edit mode on the MPC Touch display, you see it says Page Coming Soon. As of this recording, I cannot edit a key group program from the display on the MPC Touch. So I'm going to go into the software and edit it from there. So here in the software, you'll see that I'm in Program Edit mode for a key group. And we're going to start by focusing on the master section here in the bottom left. So I'm going to actually create two key groups in this program. So I'm going to drag this number one up to change it to two. And I'm first going to edit key group one. In key group one, the note range for the sample that I'm going to bring in is going to be from C0 to B0. And that's going to basically cover one octave of notes. So I'm going to change the low note from C minus 2 and go down till I find C0. And then I'm going to change the high note from G8 to B0. It's up here near the top. The software displays the key group range highlighted in red from here to here. And I'm going to tell this key group to be monophonic instead of polyphonic. If it's monophonic, it will only play one sound at a time, which is common with bass sounds. If it's polyphonic, it'll play many sounds at one time. And I'm also going to change the sample play for this key group to one shot instead of note on. When one shot is activated, I can just trigger the sample, take my finger off, and it'll play the entire sample. Now let's add the sample. I'm going to go to the layer section, and I'm going to go to layer one, and I'm going to choose the sample from the pool. So I'm going to click where it says none, and I'm going to scroll down until I see long boom C0. And I'm going to click to select it. Now this part is important. Because the samples that I've imported into this key group are tuned to a specific note on the keyboard, I need to make sure that I put that sample in the note range, which I've already done, that has that note in it, and also that I go over here and set the correct root note. So since this sample is tuned to C0, I need to go here to the root note box and click and drag all the way up until I get to C0 and set it there. Now if I play C0 on my keyboard, you will hear the note play the pitch of C0. And I can play chromatically up the keyboard and it will be in perfect tune just like if it was on a piano. Cool. So now I want to edit key group two. And in key group two, I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to change the note range. And I'm going to set the low note to C1, which is after C0. And then I'm going to set the high note to B1, which will be 
an octave for C1 to B1. Where is the B1? There it is. I'm also going to make it monophonic, and I'm also going to activate one shot. And I'm going to go over here to layer one, click on none, and I'm going to go down until I find uh, long boom C1. And then finally, over here, I'm going to go and I'm going to set the root note to C1. Now, don't get C1 and C-1 confused. They're two different octaves. So C1. And now when I play C1 on the keyboard, you'll hear the note pitch to C1. And now I can play chromatically up the keyboard from that point. So this will allow me to actually play in key, chords, scales. Well, I can't actually play chords because I put it in monophonic, so it will only play one sound. But my sample is now pitched across two octaves in tune like a real piano. Now there's another way to pitch your sample across the 16 pads on your MPC by touching 16 level here and then selecting tune here. But I have a lot more control using it in a key group and keeping it in key. To demonstrate that, I'm going to play the C major scale with the bass sample in the key group program. Cool. So let's use this bass program that I've created as part of the track that I'm working on. So I'm going to go back to my main screen and I'm going to name this track. And I'm going to name it Boom Bass. And I'm going to name the program simply Boom. So I have the Boom program on the Boom Bass track. And I'm going to go ahead and record it into my sequence now. I think I may need to do some filtering of the sample to allow the bass to stand out some, and I'll do that in the next video.